California edition. I'm Brad Palmer and it's coming to you from Washington, D.C., the nation's capital. We are in the Cannon House office building. We're joined by Judy Chu, member of the U.S. Congress representing parts of California. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. I'm going to speak with you about immigration, immigration reform. So much of immigration reform has been caught up in discussions regarding our Latino immigrants. But there's no doubt that Asian Americans and Asians coming to America are impacted as well. You represent areas of Los Angeles County with significant Asian populations. What are those communities saying about immigration reform? What are your constituents saying? Immigration affects everybody. Every constituency true. is affected by it. It certainly isn't only a Latino issue. It is an issue that affects many, including Asian Americans. Asian Americans are 40% of the 4.3 million backlog in the family visas. And of the different categories where there is that backlog, we are four out of the five top countries. And I want to speak about those family visas because as the bill is currently fashioned in the Senate, there'd be some new restrictions on family visas. Uh, adult siblings yes. would not be able to access a visa. Adult children who are married would not be able to access a visa. That's caused a lot of concern amongst the Asian Pacific Islander Caucus. Um, where is the caucus on this issue? We heard initially that the Senate was going to eliminate the adult married children category and the sibling category entirely. We were very alarmed about that, right. so we sprang into action. We got letters signed by 24 House members uh, and sent it to the Senate. We also talked to each senator uh, that is in the Gang of Eight. And um, they did make some concessions. Actually, they retained the adult married children category, but they capped it at age 31. Interesting. They Interesting. did eliminate the sibling category. However, what they did do is give an 18-month reprieve for anybody to file for it after the enactment of the law and also the ability for um, uh, a citizen to petition for their parents and the parents could bring a minor child, so that would be a sibling. So uh, is that enough to cause the caucus to oppose the immigration reform coming out of the Senate? We want to continue to push for the sibling category and the restoration of it, but there is so much good also mm. in this bill. The roadmap to citizenship for the 11 million undocumented, the DREAM Act provisions, the STEM visas, these are things that our country needs, so we must push forward. I want to speak about the House. As we know in the Senate, we've seen a bipartisan approach to immigration reform that is more comprehensive. In the House, as we speak today, a couple of bills that are more piecemeal, E-Verify, Guest Worker, it appears the House is taking a more piecemeal approach. Uh, what does that say to you about the two branches of government that they're taking different paths on such an issue that has really captivated the nation. The House is also doing a bipartisan bill. It's, it's much more secretive, though. We, we don't really know what the provisions are, though I have talked to members in, mm -hmm. in that body. Uh, I think there's some division in the House Republican um, caucus in terms of how they want to approach this. I do not think that the piecemeal approach is the best. It really has to be something that is all together in a package, and in fact, I'm concerned about uh, the piecemeal approach simply being a way of delaying all of this. And, and when you say there's division in the Republican caucus, I think that is a very fair statement. Uh, I've spoken with members from California's Republican delegation. They have certain views that may be more aligned with yours outside of California. It may be different. Her name is Judy Chu. My name is Brad Pomerantz. You are watching California Edition.